welcome to english speaking class guys girls my students to all viewers and listeners assalamu alaikum marhaba sabal khair taja how hello ni how previk dear students today we are going to view the phrasal verbs of a great importance these phrasal verbs are generally communicated in english speaking these have their importance let's start our lesson here on point four you see my students the first one is the tree blew down in the wind the tree blew down in the wind blow down is a phrasal verb blow kehte hain hawa se chalna aur down ke maane hote hain niche so blew down is a second past form and down is a preposition blow blew blow blow is a phrasal verb and second form is blew third form form is blow 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 hai hawa ka chalna air movement and blow 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 so blew down is a beautiful phrasal verb used in this sentence that tree blew down in the wind that tree blew down in the wind lag hawa se niche gir gaya the blew the tree blew down in the wind lag tez hawa se niche gir gaya the tree blew down in the wind lag तेज हवा से नीचे गिर गया द्रक हवा की शिद्दत से नीचे जा गिरा द्री ब्लू डाउन इन द विंड तेज हवा में द्रक नीचे गिर गया इज अ ब्यूटीफुल फ्रेस एंड ब्लो डाउन इज अजल वर्क हवा से किसी चीज का उखड़ के गिर जाना किसी चीज का हवा की शिद्दत से अपरूट हो जाना और फॉल हो जाना तो द ट्री ब्लू डाउन इन द विंड The tree blew down in the wind. हवा में द्रक हवा की शिद्दत से नीचे गिर गया हवा की शिद्दत से द्रक नीचे जा गिरा Let's see the next sentence. You see my students. Next sentence is schools have broken up for two weeks. Schools have broken up for two weeks. Schools have broken up for two weeks. Break up is a basic phrasal verb. Break up means to have some interval. to have intervals to have some holidays so schools have broken up for two weeks schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain schools have broken up for two weeks it's a present perfect tense schools have broken up for two weeks break is a verb and break broke broken up is a preposition so break up means some interval like holidays or breaks so schools have broken up for two weeks schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain schools have broken up for two weeks schools have broken up for two weeks schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain schools have broken up for two weeks my students adidam tulba is a beautiful sentence break up means to have interval time interval so the school that broken up for two weeks schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain school that broken up for two weeks present perfect tense schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain due to winter season school that broken up for two weeks due to winter season mausam mein sarma ki wajah se schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain due to winter season schools have broken up for two weeks sardi ki wajah se mausam mein sarma ki wajah se schoolon mein do hafte ki chuttiyan ho chuki hain a beautiful phrase a sentence adhiram tulba aaye agle jumle ki part taraf badhte hain let's read out the next sentence next part the what is crew looking for now what is crew looking for now what is crew looking for now and interrogative style this is a simple interrogative in present tense What is you looking for now? Look for that to to search something to search something to search something. So you is a plain members plain you 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 who have a is a body of men or women. So what is you looking for now? Ab amla kya plans kar raha hai? What is crew looking for now? अब जहाज का अंदर क्या तलाश कर रहा है? Crew में 
contains plane members plane members body so what is crew looking for now what is crew looking for now look for is a present verb and look for means search out search out so what is crew looking for now ab jahaz ka amla kya dhoond raha hai what is crew looking for now ab jahaz ka amla kya dhoond raha hai you see my students look for is a beautiful present verb and look for means to search something so what is crew looking for now crew jahaz ke amle ko kehte hain hawai jahaz planes ke jo स्क्वाड होता है प्लेन स्क्वाड उसे क्रू कहा जाता है जिसमें मेल फीमेल होते हैं सो व्हाट इज क्रू लुकिंग फॉर नाउ व्हाट इज क्रू लुकिंग फॉर नाउ घास का अमला अब क्या ढूंढ रहा है घास का अमला अब क्या तलाश कर रहा है लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट फ्रेज आइए मुजिजम तुलवा अगला जुमला देखते हैं डिड दे आस्क अबाउट यू अगेन डिड दे आस्क अबाउट यू अगेन क्या उन्होंने दोबारा तुम्हारे पहले पूछा डिड दे आस्क अबाउट यू अगेन क्या उन्होंने दोबारा तुम्हारी सेहत के बारे में पूछा डिड दे आस्क अबाउट यू अगेन डिड दे आस्क अबाउट यू अगेन दिस इज अ इंटरोगेटिव स्टेटमेंट इन पास्ट टेंस पास्ट इंडेफिनेट टेंस डिड दे आस्क अबाउट आस्क अबाउट होता है पहले से आप करना किसी का हाल किसी के हाल चाल पूछना आस्क अबाउट किसी की हैलियत से आप करना किसी के मुतलक पूछना किसी के मुतलक जो है पूछना so did they ask about you again did they ask about you again kya unhone dobara tumhare bare mein pucha did they ask about you again did they ask about you again kya unhone dobara tumhare bare mein pucha kya unhone dobara tumhare bare mein pucha ask about to the dusro ki khairiyat se aap karna dusro ke bare mein puchna dusro ke bare mein jankari lena so did they ask about you again kya unhone tumhare bare mein dobara pucha Did they ask about you again? क्या उन्होंने दोबारा आपके बारे में पूछा? Let's move to the next sentence and next phrase. You see, my students, can you put Ronnie up for night? Can you put Ronnie up for night? You see, put up is a present verb. Put up, put is a verb and up is a preposition. So when we uh, write them together, so it's a present verb. And can is uh, used as an interrogative. ठहरा सकती है नीचे उतर आई 
came down me to dismount, to dismount, unclimb, unclimb, so dismount, to dismount, unclimb, then she came down the hill at once, then she came down the hill at once, then she followed the heart to Nietzsche of Sarai, then she came down the hill at once, then she came down the hill at once, then she followed the heart to Nietzsche of Sarai. Here you my students, these are very interesting phrases and sentences with the phrasal verbs and there are questionary phrasal verbs with questionary sentences. Memorize these sentences and whether and I wish you all the best. I will see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye.